I, paragraph I. The applicant is married with two minor children that are school going. The two children are currently staying with the father. The applicant deserted the children since March 2023. She decided to elope with Achus 5 while she was still a married woman. I have since established from correctional services that the applicant was never visited by her husband and children since her arrest and detention. It has also been established from the telephone re register that there was only one telephone call to the husband. Instead, the many telephone calls were to friends and her legal team. J. In terms of properties, there are no properties registered in her name at this office. Our however established she owns three cars, that being a Porsche, Opel Corsa Utility, and Volkswagen. The Porsche in question was used in Bloemfontein during the so-called funerals mentioned above. The applicant first accused number five from KwaZulu Natala after the escape using this same forge, uh, Porsche. A tracker confirmed this movement. The applicant left this Porsche with her security when she fled the country. It is currently impounded in Northwest. Paragraph K. The applicant has a valid passport that was issued on 16 February 2017 and will expire in February 2027. It has been established from the Department of Home Affairs that since the issue, this passport was used 23 times for trips outside South There are further criminal cases that has since been registered against her. These are the following. Sinoville case 206 of 4, 2023. It's a fraud matter where the amount involved is 15 million rands. Sunton case 87 of 4, 2023. Fraud amounting to 500,000 rands. Runback case 269 of 2, 2023, fraud amounting to 1.2 million rents. Benoni case, 348 of 8, 2023, fraud amounting to 5.112 million. Thank you. My, my apology. Deben North case, 1 of 7, 2023, fraud amounting to 150,000 rents. Runback case 269 of 3, 2023, fraud amounting to 900,000 rents. Paragraph M. The applicant is not only facing long term of imprisonment if she is convicted on the above mentioned matters, but is also facing further civil claims. There are further criminal cases. That has since been reached. Sun Monan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, Bogan, to Kelly, I was a girl. Tinas Mazer, Bloma kisses, is Mazer, Eshalaza, Epcopos, El Mundo, I killed Tabo Best, as Maz Tinokel Ekala. Wow. Now, the last update was when she released that statement as a victim of Tinche, Jengoba, Inyanga, and West Fazanis is Opela, Minam about to face Angazi in Ini as a victim of um, financial abuse, um, all kinds of abuse. You know, now the state in the Tabo Besta escape saga has argued um, there is likelihood that Dr. Nandi Pamakutman will try to evade trial if released on bail. Okay, she will try to escape. Now, Makutman is applying for a bail today. A Bloemfontein Magistrate Court. A prosecutor Oselo questioned the reliability of the address provided to the court that is to be used if she is released on bail. 
Now, Oselo told the Bloemfontein Magistrate Court that Dr. Nandipa provided a wrong address when she was charged. Now, the state is opposing Dr. Nandipa's bill application in the Tabo Best Escape saga. Elia, Dr. Nandipa told the court that she will plead not guilty to all charges she is currently facing. Now, in her affidavit, she says she's still challenging her arrest in Tanzania. On and depart through the lawyer, Ote, she did not leave the country. Okay, it was against her will. She says she was threatened and intimidated by Otabo Besta, which is accused number five in this case. Now, Magurmane says she is willing to pay um, 10,000 rands for bail. Okay, that's the same amount that her dad paid. Now, her lawyer, Ulamin, said, and I quote, on and about 17 March 2023, I was in the company of accused number five. I was instructed and commanded by the accused to get into the vehicle to leave to the destination unknown to me at that time. I was defenseless and hopeless. Now, guys, remember this video. I'm glad she said that. So, we'll see she was defenseless and hopeless. What oh, Dr. Nandipa? If you, if the first video that um, came out or started circulating was this video, um, it was still in question, would she, did Utabo Pesta die or escaped? All right. Oh, Dr. Nandipa did not seem scared, you know, hopeless, defenseless. She was living her best life, enjoying her breakfast, if it was breakfast, you know. So, somebody's son died here so that Utabo Besta can escape. Somebody's son, Bamshisa. We don't know whether he was alive or dead. We don't know whether they killed him or Batsatis Dumbusaki. Ugufagwa kicks any question mark. But what we do know is that Stumbosaki, what we saw now, is a replacer, Utabo best. Okay. What's wrong with Dr. Nandipama Kudumani? She looks stressed today. Dr. Nandipama Kudumani says she left for Tanzania against her own will and was fearful of Utabo Besta. You're right. There is no way she will get bail. Her lawyers were supposed to be honest with her true hopefully she's not gonna get bail because remember this is south africa at the end of the day dr nandipa abandon had two children her husband and children have never visited her since her arrest since her arrest she only made one call to her husband and many calls to her friends dr nandipa makramani's previous legal team dug a hole for her she was misled she has been all along fighting for an unlawful arrest in tanzania and now that her attempt has failed on her bail application she says her best kidnapped her to Tanzania, which is which? Hmm? Which is which? Because if Tabo Pesta kidnapped you to, to Tanzania, then when the police, South African police came to rescue you, whatever they called it, deportation, extra, it did not matter. You were just supposed to be happy with, oh my goodness, finally, they've rescued me. I get to be with my kids. I get to be with my children. Dr. Nandipa didn't care about all of that. Her, her, her chat was that I my arrest was unlawful. Yeah. So were you kidnapped? Or the arrest was unlawful because it cannot be the two. You know? Anyway guys, do let me know what you think in the comment section down below. New registered cases against Dr. Nandi Pasant in fraud with fifteen million rands, Durban fraud with one point two million rands, Runback fraud with five point two million rands. Sure. Ryan Beck fraud with 150,000 rands, Durban fraud worth 900k. I they conclude that bill will be denied. Go be. <laughs> Do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below.